On Wednesdays, our tradition is to present to you Ask the Lawyer with Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured, answering questions largely submitted by you. If you'd like to submit a question for future consideration, I'll I'll tell you how to go about that here in just a second. Ask the Lawyer, brought to you by Associates and Bruce L. Shiner. Let's go to our guest, Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. Good morning, Bruce. Hey, good morning, Todd. How are you doing this beautiful morning? Excellent. How about you? I couldn't be better. It's sunshine, cool yep. weather. Yeah. It's just like being in heaven. It's it's cool, but I don't know how many more of these cold fronts we have coming through. Might as well enjoy it while it lasts is what I think. I agree. All right. Well, sometimes our enjoyment of things in life, it gets uh, diminished. It gets cut down. Because we get ourselves hurt through no fault of our own. We've got another one of those situations in an email I'd like to present to you today. See if maybe you can offer some, um, some, some advice or some direction. I'd love to help, Todd. All right, here's what the email says. I own a pickup truck insured by Allstate. My wife owns an SUV insured by Progressive. Last week, my son was home from college and was struck while driving his motorcycle and was taken to the hospital with severe injuries. The at-fault driver who hit him only had minimum insurance. Unfortunately, my son didn't have insurance on the motorcycle. We were told that because he didn't have insurance, our insurance didn't cover him. Can you ask the lawyer if this is true? You've got different companies here, kind of a divided family, if you will. And, of course, you've got two separate insurance companies who are going to say, uh-uh, I'm not paying. (laughs) What do you make of this, Bruce? Well, it's a typical case where the insurance company says, we never pay. Yeah, yeah. However, fortunately, in this world, with stacking insurance, even though they're different companies, you could stack the mother's coverage with the father's coverage, ah. and that would ap- apply to the son, even though he didn't have any insurance on the bike. Interesting. So you've got that, to- that's why I that's why I preach every week that stacking uninsured motors coverage is the most important coverage you can get. So let me make sure I understand this. If they had stacking insurance, but the same company, they get X number of, of dollars. But with two separate companies, it, it could be twice as much. No, it'd be the same. If they had stacking with the same company or separate companies. It doesn't make any difference. Okay, they all right. They get to stack the total amount of their uninsured motorist coverage. I see. The husband's coverage with the wife's coverage. I see. Okay. Still, that is a substantial amount, likely a substantial amount, to help with somebody who's got severe injuries. Yeah, it, it looks promising for the young boy yeah. who got hurt on the motorcycle. I'm surprised they haven't pulled the residency card yet. Like, oh, he's home from college? Well, he's not a resident, so that doesn't count. You hear that a lot, too, don't you? They just pick an excuse and say we're not going to pay. But, <laughs> um, this young man's entitled to the parents stacking uninsured motorist coverage. And, and the thing is, it'll be one excuse after another, especially if you're trying to handle this by yourself as a lay person it'll be something next and something next and something next that's why you gotta have a professional take these things over as soon as possible absolutely they need to call an experienced personal injury lawyer um that's familiar with motorcycles yeah as soon as possible and with it being spring break and a lot of kids coming home for visits uh moms and dads you need to a check your policy Make sure you've got that stacking uninsured motorist coverage we always talk about. That would be the first thing to do. The second thing is keep in mind, if, God forbid, something goes wrong, that you need to contact a professional quickly. Absolutely, Todd. If I'm not sure what kind of, if i got two separate policies like this household does, and I'm not sure what kind of coverage I have and if it's sufficient, can I call your office and, and get you to, to point me in the right direction on that? I'm sorry, I didn't hear your question. If, if I've got two separate companies and a complicated insurance situation, can I call your office and make sure that I've got the right amount of coverage? Will you help me with that? Call me anytime. I'm happy to talk to anybody about insurance coverages. All right, Bruce, that sounds good. Thank you so much for your time this morning, and I'll give the phone number out in just a moment. I know you're busy, so I'm going to cut you loose. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you, Todd. Speak to you next week. All right, take care now. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. 
And I think a very satisfactory outcome, or at least there seems to be, uh, appears to be for this young man. Now, like I said, one of the things you might want to do is have them advise you on what direction you should uh, be taking with your insurance. Maybe you're underinsured. Maybe you have non-stacking insurance and you should have stacking. And we've gone over that so many times, but it's all very confusing to people like, well, like me, maybe you as well. Call the Port Charlotte Office of Associates and Bruce L. Shiner. The number is 941-743-7777. 941-743-7777. And be sure to tell them that Todd Matthews sent you. If you'd like to submit a question for con- uh, consideration of the future, all you have to do is go to our website and put Bruce in the keyword search box. That'll take you to the right place. And again, that number is 941-743-7777. And please tell them that I sent you from Kicks Country 92.9.